Hello guys, uh, it's your boy Augustin. Uh, today I have a quick one for you. Uh, so we are doing a CCTV work uh, in some part of Ghana, and uh, I came across a, uh, a challenge. Not really a challenge, but then uh, I just want to share something quick with you. You know, uh, we are using uh, a network cable for uh, analog cameras. Sometimes the wires are too many, and uh, if you don't arrange them very well, you you might end up missing uh, the power line with, let's say, from one camera to the other. So as you can see, the wires are very messy. So um, I want to share a quick tip with you on how to uh, separate the wires uh, per camera. So as you can see here. We've twisted uh, two pairs together, so uh, two pair is going for the power, and then the second pair, uh, the second set of two pair is going for the for the video. So the difference between these, let me zoom in. I'm having a focus issue. So the difference between this and this is that you see the wires are the pairs are separate. So, in case I am lazy enough to use this, I may end up using the positive line of one camera and then missing it with the negative line of another camera, which might cause a, a bad video quality. So, I'm going to show you a very quick one on how to quickly uh, join or put two sets of pair together in, in this manner such a way that when you take this when you take one of these you know that okay this is a, a power line for one camera and then when you take the second set of pair you know that this is a video line for the, uh, the same camera so to quickly do that all you need is a uh, so right now i have a, a drill this is a 20 volt drill it doesn't matter whatever it is it just has to be a drill with uh, this kind of uh, chalk so as you can see, I've done it already, but I'll show you. So, uh, so sorry for this. I'm using my phone for the video. So, uh, all I did is to put a small osha at the mouth of the chalk. So to do that, let me let me quickly do that. Uh, I mean, remove it off camera. Then I'll show you how it is. So to put it together, this is what you do. You just open the chalk uh, wide enough for the usher to sleep in. So sorry, I'm going to use a set of two and one, something like this. So it's enough, and you tighten it up. So you have something like this. Though the speed is on one, if you want it to go fast, I just push it to two. Then you have something like this. So now, with the with the wire. So I'm taking a new a new wire. Right here. So in this case, I'm using the the brown and the blue for power. So I'm going to uh, tie them together. So you have to separate. You have to separate there. So now I've selected these two together. So in order to do the connection, you will slip. Uh, so this is a result you do something like this so you use a uh, so you, you put one from through the uh, you put one through the one side of the usher then you put the 
second one through the other side then you can tight it this way then uh, just proceed by uh, pressing the trigger then it will twist by itself all the way to the other end so you give a good twist but don't twist it uh in order uh too much in order not to damage the, the wire so this is a good one this is a good twist then you can now release the the wire I'm using one hand for the camera and one hand to do this, so please take it for me later. Okay, so uh, I hope I have not lost the one I just did that right now. Uh, all right, this is it. So you see, so you have a good strand of wire. So this one will let you have one cable with two pairs, uh, two set of pair. So this for the power, and then I'll choose the other set for the for the video. So this is for analog cameras. We are using a network cable for analog cameras for better uh, video quality. So that's how we do. Then uh, from after that we can we can use a, a video balloon. In this case, uh, my cameras are uh, actually 5 megapixel cameras, and I'm using 8 megapixel video balloon. Doing all this for better quality, video quality. So that's how to choose the cable. Just start a quick one, just to help you go with your work faster and in a better manner. Anyway, I hope this video will help you. Uh, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to leave a, a like and then subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you. Okay, so after twisting all of them, here's the result. So if you see, it's very neat. Don't have any messy wire around. I don't know. So this is the result. So if you take a single pair, a single uh, cassis cable, you get two strands from it. Uh, one for the video and then one for the power. So same thing goes for all the other uh, cables. So it's little done. So no way you will miss uh, any camera with another. Uh, I'm having for it. Yeah, any camera with. Uh, uh, what are you talking about? So no way you will miss uh, a power line of one camera with the power line of the other. So uh, this is a setup. It's actually a hostel. So we have about 16 cameras here. So we are going to finish right now.